Inrotech has developed a highly advanced welding robot, which is unique in the way it operates. Contrary to the typical robot setup, where the robot is stationary and the object moved to the robot, here the robot is mobile and is moved to the object. This means that the robot can be used to weld large objects like ship and bridge sections, submarines, storage tanks, large pipes, e.g. in hydropower stations and many other applications. Besides being small and versatile, it is easy to use and is equipped with a state-of-the-art software, which enables the robot to weld multi-pass welding automatically while compensating for tolerances in the weld groove. Inrotech Crawler is probably the smallest yet most advanced welding robot on the market. The robot itself is a UR3, which is the smallest of Universal's robot series. The robot is placed on a carriage which is built from anodized aluminium. The total weight, including robot, is approximately 45 kg. The carriage also holds electrical components like I.O. modules, pneumatic relays and an inclination sensor which identifies the position of the robot. The system uses this information automatically on the fly to adjust the welding parameters accordingly. Rails can be interconnected by an easy snap lock function and thereby the desired length can be achieved. For easy installation to the substrate, the rails are provided with switchable magnets. The magnets are safe up to a temperature not exceeding 180 degrees C. Each of the magnets has a rated pulling force of more than 100 kg. At each end of the rail, a large magnet is positioned for easy connection between rails. The large magnet at the end of each rail has a rated pulling force of 450 kg. If the use of magnets is not possible, a number of other options for installation can be used. The strong magnets allow the rails to be installed in almost any position, as long as the substrate is magnetic. So, the first thing the weld plan does is make a scan of the complete weld, finding the points of interest and the features of the weld. After that, the weld planner inside the weld logic starts analyzing each scan, finding out what is the volume, how does the weld look, and finding out the optimal welding parameters for the whole weld as well as the number of uh, passes for the weld. The weld planner then comes up with this uh, uh, final data sheet, so to speak, of all the welds, all the passes within that weld.